the Airbus Beluga ST aircraft has run into substantial obstacles in its attempt to replace the AN-124s in the global cargo transportation market. Beluga ST has been unable to satisfy the demand for heavy lift cargo that the AN-124 has traditionally satisfied, despite its distinctive design and capabilities. The Antonov AN-124 fleet has been notably affected by the Russia-Ukraine conflict, which has had a significant impact on air cargo. This fleet is essential for the transportation of large and heavy items, including turbines, military equipment, and aerospace components. Nevertheless, operators such as the Russian Volga D Dnepr have encountered restricted operational capacity as a result of the partial grounding or restriction of numerous AN-124 aircraft due to sanctions and geopolitical tensions. The global cargo supply chain has been disrupted by the absence of these aircraft, necessitating that industries pursue alternatives that result in the delay of critical projects and the increase of costs. Furthermore, the AN-225 Myria, the world's largest cargo aircraft, was destroyed early in the conflict during a Russian attack on Hostomol Airport, resulting in both a symbolic and operational loss. With a payload capacity of up to 250 tons, the AN-225 was ideally adapted for ultra-heavy loads. Its irreplaceable capacity results in the inability to transport certain cargoes in a single piece or with the same efficiency, which further complicates logistics for industries that depend on its capabilities. Airbus introduced its Beluga Transport Service in January 2022 in response to the increasing demand for oversized cargo transportation. Although the Beluga XL is smaller than both the AN-124 and AN-225, it is capable of transporting oversized cargo, including helicopters, satellites, and massive industrial equipment, with a payload capacity of 51 tons. Airbus capitalized on its existing fleet, which was initially intended for the internal transportation of aircraft components, to satisfy market demands. The Beluga XL was a competitive alternative due to its flexibility. However, its range and payload capacity are restricted in comparison to the AN-124 and AN-225, rendering it a partial solution rather than a full replacement. The Beluga ST, which is derived from the A300-600 design, is distinguished by its substantial cross-section, which enables it to efficiently transport oversized cargo. It is capable of carrying a maximum payload of approximately 40 tons. Nevertheless, its carrying capacity is significantly inferior to that of the AN-124, which is capable of transporting up to 150 tons. The Beluga ST's appeal for specific heavy lift missions has been limited by the gap in payload capacity. The market response has been characterized by an increase in freight costs as a result of the decreased availability of large capacity aircraft. Industries that depend on the transportation of enormous cargo have been substantially affected by this surge in demand. As a result, organizations are investigating alternative transportation methods, such as the development of new aircraft and modular shipping solutions, in order to reduce risks. Antonov has also announced intentions to rebuild the AN-225, which is indicative of the emergence of collaborations between governments and private entities. Airbus's Beluga service is largely dependent on markets in Europe and North America, where it already has logistical infrastructure in place, as regional needs have also changed. In the interim, industries in the Asia-Pacific region, particularly in sectors such as aerospace and wind energy, are actively pursuing comparable solutions that could facilitate future fleet expansions. The ongoing conflict has significantly altered air cargo logistics, exposing vulnerabilities and encouraging innovation within the industry. Airbus introduced its Beluga transport service to address this deficiency. However, operational challenges and a lack of external customers led to its abrupt cessation in January 2025, just over a year after obtaining its air operator certificate. The Beluga ST is constrained by numerous operational limitations. Its high cargo deck necessitates specialized loading equipment, which complicates operations in comparison to the AN-124's ramp loading capability. Initially, Airbus was optimistic about its market entry. However, it encountered difficulty in attracting enough external customers to maintain operations. The service was designed to cater to a variety of sectors, such as military and humanitarian logistics, 
but it ultimately failed to effectively compete against established actors such as Antonov Airlines. Furthermore, numerous potential customers were unable to use Russian-operated aircraft as a result of international sanctions. However, they did not opt for Airbus as a viable alternative in sufficient numbers. The Beluga ST, despite its innovative solutions for transporting oversized cargo, was unable to replace the AN-124s as a result of its lower payload capacity, operational challenges, and insufficient market demand. These ongoing issues within the heavy lift air freight sector are reflected in the end of Airbus's dedicated cargo service. Now, do you think the heavy air cargo industry has changed forever after the sanctions and big planes are no longer necessary? Let us know in the comment. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.